from Mistletoe Crafts and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you some Christmas crafts. Now Christmas is my most favourite time of year. I absolutely love it so any time that I can get to make something Christmassy I just I jump at the chance and I wanted to share this with you because this is a really easy one to do and it's a great way to actually reuse and um, recycle some of your things that you should have around your house. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas light frame. Now it's a bit like the one that you see behind me, the ones that you can get in garden centres and things like that. But this one is using a gift bag. Now you can use any gift bag you like as long as it has a nice picture on it, whether you have a scene like this which is really Christmassy or if you have one that's got snowflakes on or Christmas trees, anything like that works really well. Uh, I've got an old frame. Now this was a frame that had a glass in it and a picture, but it, it smashed. So I kept the frame back because I knew I would use it one day and that day has come. So I'm gonna put that to the side. You also need a really sharp pair of scissors, some double-sided sticky tape and a set of these lights. Now these lights are the flat sort. They have the little flat lights instead of the big bulby ones, so they're really easy to sellotape onto the back of the gift bag. Um, so I shall just turn those off and I'm gonna zoom in uh, from this level so you can see exactly how I make it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to get the gift bag ready. So you're gonna have to cut away all these extra things but remember you can still use them even though we're not going to use them for this project so if you use get the rope right to this end then you can feed it through the holes like that and you can take the gift tags off and you can actually use them for um, another present so that's two extra gift tags I've got there, so put them to the side. Carry on taking the rest of this rope out. Because actually this rope can go into a drawer and wait to be used for another gift or maybe used for something else. So never just throw anything away because we can always find a use for it somewhere. So there we go, that's that done. Now, now the good thing is about this gift bag is that I can use it twice. I can use this side and I can use that side. So if this frame turns out really well, I could actually make it as a present for somebody else. So we're just gonna give this, I'm gonna cut it down. just do one okay so here we have the flat part of our picture now now we need to really cut these edges off to get them extra flat this bit's always the fiddly bit This gift bag was from uh, the range and it was 79p. So I have got lots of gift bags upstairs in a box and um, I reuse them every time I get given one. They just go away in the box and I give them out when it's somebody else's birthday and so on and so on except for when I find these really pretty ones. I always wonder what to do with them and now, now I know. So, there we go, that's all flat. Now, I'm gonna get that, get the frame, and I'm gonna put it like this because I need to measure it out because the frame has got on the back, it's got a little inlay section and I want the picture just to sit inside it. Okay, so now I've got that set and ready, I am now going to get a pencil and I'm just going to draw 
inside the frame. Like so. So that is where I'm going to cut, but I'm going to cut it about here all the way around so I need it to sit on that ledge. Now you can, um, if you wanted to be really precise, um, you could use a um, guillotine, um, but I know not everybody has one of those, so I'm just gonna do it with a pair of scissors. So you can always start off doing it a little bit wider because obviously you can always cut in, whereas if you do it too short, then you risk um, it being too small for the frame. So we'll do it a little bit bigger to begin with. You never know, it might turn out completely perfect. Okay, let's try that. Oh, just a little bit more off. Nearly right. Let's try it again. Okay, I think that's about right. So, already you can see that that was really simple to do. And now we're just going to make it look really pretty with some lights. So, this picture's great because it has these little lights on the garland over the fireplace and on the Christmas tree. So, and you could put them along here as well. So first of all, I'm gonna get my lights. And my, I'm gonna put them on actually, so it can see a bit better. And you're gonna need double-sided sticky tape. You can use normal um, sellotape, but I find that this double-sided sticky tape just seems to hold the lights a bit better. So you can cut loads of little strips off so you're already ready and prepared to do. And this is just a case of checking where you want the lights. So you can start off at the side and say, okay, well, I want them to, you see that? The light is shining through already. So I'm going to start mine off here and then I shall speed the video up so you're not sat watching a really boring long section of video. Now that part is done, it's very fiddly but now as you can see I've got all my lights taped and secured to the back of the picture and uh, it looks a bit messy but you're not going to see that bit from the back but as you can see from the front i've now got these lovely lights lighting up the christmas tree lighting up over the fireplace and along this little garland here now if you've got a snowy picture or just lots of trees on a gift bag then you can just take them wherever and it won't matter or perhaps make them look like snowflakes but on this one i wanted to be quite precise because they actually had lights on the picture now it's cut to size of the frame, so now I can just turn the lights off for a minute. I should just be able to slip that in like that, just to double check. Okay, hold it up so we can see before I tape it down. So there we go. Now, it's, this is a really easy piece of craft. It's fun to do with the kids and it reuses things that you may end up putting in the recycle bin or um, throwing out. So I'm just gonna secure this to the back and then I should take a picture of it once it is up. But that was it. I hope you enjoy making yours. If you do make them, please make sure you comment below so I can uh, see some pictures. Thank you very much. Bye.